So recently, I was going through old stuff from the hospital. I had this huge bag of stuff in the attic from the hospital, or from various hospitalizations, but I just call it the hospital. Um, <laughs> and I was starting to write things down. I was starting to um, kind of write my experience and just write a lot of things. And I did. there were a lot of things that I didn't remember. And I finally felt emotionally ready enough to go through this insane array of stuff that I had and it was just a very interesting experience for me because I haven't read this stuff in a long time. So I went up in the attic and I got my stuff and I have some of it here but not all of it. Um, and I wanted to talk about depression today and kind of the insanity that it is because until now me being, I'm not going to say cured, fully healed or whatever, but I'm definitely in the best space I've ever been, ever I think in my entire life. and. My head is so clear now, and things are so clear to me. They've never been this clear. And knowing now, you know, me not being depressed anymore, me being actually happy, <laughs> um, it's so weird to see these things and to see what I wrote about and to see where I was. Um, my thoughts were so skewed and just everything was so messed up. So I have my journals here and a couple of other things. I have, <laughs> I kept so many journals. I loved writing. It was everything to me and especially when I was in the hospital we had like quiet time on the adolescent unit and for two hours I would just write everything that happened that day so here are all my journals from the hospital or from the hospital or like various outside stuff this one I kept the summer of 2013 um, it was kind of the one I carried around instead of this one which I wrote in like at night at the end of the day this one I carried around and kind of just wrote stuff that's it none of it makes absolutely any sense I was out of my fucking mind manic, so it makes no sense. <laughs> um, this was the journal I kept in the hospital. Now this journal is packed full of so many different things and it is honestly one of the most important things to me that I own. This starts when I was out of the hospital in day program um, and then it ends like halfway through my state hospitalization. So when I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital from January 10th, 2013, 2014 rather, January 10th, 2014 to June 4th, 2000 and 2014. So it's about, I was in the hospital for about five months, right? Five months, a little less than five months. And I went, I was in a private hospital for two months and then I went to state for three months. I've spoken about this before, background, whatever. So the whole time I was in private and halfway through state, a little less than halfway through state, I kept this journal and I'm very glad that I kept it because I was getting the ECT at this time uh, around January, February, and I don't really remember those times really at all. So having this journal really brings things back to me and I'm so glad that I have it because it's history that I don't remember in my head, but it's all here. Um, so I'm glad that I have it and it's very important to me. It is chock full from from the first, very first page to the very end page, and it's it's everything. This journal is everything. So then halfway through state, this journal finished, and I started this one. Actually, wait. Yeah, I started this one, and then I never finished it because after I got out of state, I did, I used this one for a while. Um, this wasn't really a journal. It's kind of just like a I put like collages and stuff in here, just like art stuff, I guess you could say. I'm not, I don't really do art, but just various things in here that I really liked. It's not finished yet, I'm still finishing it. And then I have these two, which I carried around. This one was never finished. So it's so important to write things down, especially when you're in a certain state, because looking back now, the way that I am, the person that I am, it's insane to see how fucked up my head was, I guess, and the thoughts that I was having. So, after I went through all the journals, I found this bag of stuff, and in here is a huge chunk of letters from people that, family members, friends, anyone, that you, um, that I received while I was in the hospital, um, or when I got out, or anything pertaining to my mental health. And the whole time that I was in the hospital, this journal is filled with self-hatred and filled with so many different things that are just insane to me. And I don't know why I made this hole here. It's really, it's really weird, but I was like picking at it. So just reading back in my journals and thinking about how much I hated myself, you know, I, I was always writing like 
nobody loves me, and I, I truly believed these things, which is really what took me so long to understand about the depression is that it's not just being sad. Your mind is completely, completely skewed. Your thoughts are completely skewed and nothing really makes sense. Um, and that's why it's so hard for people that don't have it to understand because they're like, are you just sad? And like, no, like you're not just sad. Like you're not thinking straight. And <coughs> that's also like, Doctors, like, of course, they can be helpful, therapists, this and that, but that's also, like, if they haven't been through it, they really can't understand, and they really can't properly explain to you, you know, the DSM and, like, looking it up and, like, the definition, you know, doesn't properly explain what depression is, and I'm just now realizing that it is a mental illness. It's not just a feeling. It's not just, like, a state. It's really a state of mind, and it is a mental illness, like it is an illness. And it's insane because while I was writing in this journal and writing about all this stuff that I truly believed, you know, self-hatred, people hate me, I'm an awful person, this and that, I was receiving all these fucking letters. They were coming to me. I was receiving them and I was putting them away and I was reading them. And I was like, this, and none of it just made sense to me. I don't remember what I felt when I read these letters, but I definitely did not feel any of this was true. And then I found this journal. <clears throat> and then I found all these letters and I was reading through them, like sitting on my bed about a month ago, reading through all these letters and just like, damn, how did I not fucking realize that so many fucking people loved me and so many fucking people wanted me to get better and so many fucking people really cared about me and it shows in these letters some of these letters are from people that I don't even remember existing because of the ECT and the memory loss and things like that you know some girls from the hospital that I'm like who the fuck is this girl and just like people that like I became friends with a lot of people from the hospital we continue to write to each other after after I went to state people from private hospital were sending me letters to the state hospital there's just so much love in these letters and there is so much hate in this journal and all my other writing and it's just insane to me that I truly believed all those awful things that I was thinking about myself and what other people thought of me and all the hatred that was running through my head every day. Meanwhile, I was receiving letter upon letter upon letter from people that I just never realized. And then when the stack is so big, I was like, oh, holy shit. Like, what is this? This is when I was in private hospital and I had my birthday and they bought me a fucking cake and everyone in the hospital made this card and wrote in it. And I was just like, these people fucking hate me. And like, no one had to do that. You know what I mean? And there's all kinds of letters and notes from people in here that some of them, you know, I don't even remember these people and some of them I was in the hospital with for a week and then when I went off to state they were writing me letters and it's just insane like friends, family, like you name it, it's all in here and that I truly believed that and that's what's so fucked up about depression is that you truly believe those skewed thoughts and your head is just so messed up and as much as doctors can help and as much as doctors can try to explain that to you. If they haven't been through it, they can't explain it, you know? Um, and being the clear mind I am now, like seeing all of this, I just can't believe that I believed that shit, you know? And, you know, when you're in that state of mind, you don't think anyone loves you. You don't think anyone cares about you. Meanwhile, here you are, like people were visiting me in the hospital, like people were writing me letters, people were doing things for me that it's just insane. So I think it's most important to remember that if you are going through it, like even now um, when I do start to feel upset and I do start to think things that aren't really true, I'm I say to myself, this is not me. You know, this is not me thinking, this is the depression thinking, this is my mental illness thinking, this is not me. And so the most important thing that, the most important lesson that I've learned is that if you are going through depression right now and you're truly believing that no one loves you, that is not the case. There are people out there, and it's so cliche, but I say it all the time, cliches are cliches because they're true. And 
it's so cliche like people do love you there are so many people that care about you and like when you say that to a person who's like someone wrote on um my like self-harm cover-up video or something um you know people love you people care about you you can't do this and of course as much as nice as that is as nice as that is for people to do that that is so nice and now i'm like yeah i know people love me i know thank you so much but um you know as nice as that is for people to do and as helpful as they think it might be when you're depressed you're you're just like fuck off fuck that fuck that shit like that's not fucking true fuck that and um it is <laughs> And as much as you don't want to hear it when you are so messed up in the head, like, it's true. And it, you may think it, but your thoughts are not clear. Your head is not clear. Like, what you're thinking is not true. Your mind is sick. And I hate saying that, but yeah, it's so true. And when people would say, oh, you know, you're sick. My mom always used to say that, like, when you were sick. And I was like, shut the fuck up. I wasn't sick. Yes, I was sick. I was sick, sick, sick so fucking sick and depression is not just a feeling depression is not just whatever it is very fucking serious because your thoughts are so skewed to the point where you will try to fucking kill yourself meanwhile you're you're fucking have so you're sh being showered with so much love and you can't see that um and so to go through all this stuff was really scary for me but at the same time like such a cleansing experience because I realize now that I can fight my thoughts, you know, when you're depressed, it's very hard to, but if you just say to yourself, this is not me thinking, this is the depression thinking, this is the depression thinking, like, you can really, you know, change your state of mind. And I think that it's so important to know that if you are going through this right now, if you're watching this video and you are going through depression right now, and you're probably sitting there like, this girl's fucking bullshitting, like, I'm not, you know what I mean? And coming from the darkest point where I was to literally, like, almost death, um, to where I am now, it's insane, like, the change. I think that it's really, really important to remember that, to remember that this is not you, you know? This is not who you are, this is not who you will be for the rest of your life, because things can change, like, things can change. I always get so fucking emotional when I think about this shit, like, oh god, I'm such a pussy. Don't fucking believe your thoughts right now, because they are fucking you over. Just remember that if you're, if you're depressed right now, if you're in a fucked up state of mind, that, um, it's not true. <laughs> None of what you're thinking is true. <laughs> um, there are people who love you, and if you just open your eyes and look around, there are so many people that want you to be alive, so many people that want you to be here, and life is just such a precious thing, and it's so important. So I really hope that you get something from this video, and I hope that you realize how important your life is and how valued you are. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, hopefully I will be more consistent with videos. So bye.